I'm Lynn Ulbricht, and I'm the mother of Ross Ulbricht, who's the defendant in the Silk Road case. And I was here to basically, bottom line, raise defense funds for Ross, because um, we have very high costs with the lawyer and um, forensic experts, and Ross has no money. He's completely dependent on us to uh, put money in his commissary in prison. He has nothing, and we're not rich, so we need help. How has the Bitcoin community embraced or st stood up for for this cause? Well, you know, I honestly, I just came to the conference that was recently held and uh, met a bunch of people. We, I wouldn't say there's a cohesive community that's particularly um, stepped forward, except now that I've met a lot of people, I mean, I've got a lot of wonderful goodwill and support, I'd say it's been very positive. Earlier in the meetup, you mentioned the possibility of the federal government using this case to basically restrict further freedoms. Could you sort of expand a little bit on that? I was relying on Ross's lawyer, who made the, made the point, he said that um, it's traditional for the government to use high-profile cases to make what he considers bad law and I think those are the words I used. I can see the potential for laws to be made that would be more restrictive of the internet, impact privacy, and um, the use of Bitcoin. This is um, our attempt. It's a scannable QR code that'll take you to a landing page that will link to our website, which is freeross.org, um, or give you um, an option to contribute, either by crowdfunding with credit card, PayPal, or Bitcoin. We're asking people to share this on Facebook and Twitter, and we're trying to get a re uh, widespread campaign going, really worldwide. Of you know, if a lot of people just give a little, that that'll do it. It doesn't have to be giant contributions, but a lot of people giving a little will really help.